Okay, so here we have my XAircraft X650 set up. Off to the right there you see patch antenna. That, of course that tripod extends right up to 2 metres. So I guess it's right up above your head height. And let's come in here. There's fat chart video goggles. Great uh, piece of kit those are. I'm pride and joy for my radio now, my 10C Tramp Futaba. It's amazing what you can do once you've got a decent uh, decent transmitter. And the beloved X650 itself. Now we'll start off looking at the uh, ground station. Here we've just got a 1.2 slash 1.3 gigahertz receiver running up to the patch antenna. All pretty standard. Comes down, everything comes off that, runs into one line runs into the um, BevRC DVR. It's a great little thing to have there, especially if you lose your aircraft, you can at least go back and see where it landed. Um, if your heads up is, is showing at the time your OSD, then you can even get the coordinates of where it's crashed and it makes some things much easier. Um, it comes down to my Fat Shark goggles. Brilliant viewing out of those, nice and clear. Best ones I've found to date. And with that all together, runs on a 3S battery, rock rope to the back, means that the whole thing is self-contained. And it packs down to a nice small package too. Run it inside a portable chair bag to keep it all nice and tidy and uh, keeps everything out of the way. That, by the way, has a cover which covers all that bit there, so you don't need to see any of it. Just this nice slim box. Here we have the X650. As you see, there's a few little modifications made to it. For those that have flown them before, you'll see now I've now got the DJI NASA GPS is now sitting underneath the cover. You'll notice that it's off on an angle, I'll come to that in a minute as well. You'll see it's pointing the wrong way. Out the back here we've got a loading tube which was broken recently in a crash. Cut into two. I then sliced a little bit of the carbon fibre so it made a sleeve and joined to extend it out the, at the back. And you don't know if you can see the joins here but oh, you can just make them out. There's a join there and another one just here. Perfectly fits, very strong, very light, and that has my transmitter. And that's the 1.2, 1.3, 800 milliwatt transmitter just hanging off the back. Keeps it nice and clear. You'll notice I've drilled lots of holes in that, it just helps keep it a bit cooler. I found even with it sitting out in the wind, it was still getting quite hot. So, filled it for little holes, beveled both sides, and I now have no temperature problems whatsoever, uh, regardless of how, how long I'm flying. Running 12 by 45 carbon props, I found them to be the nicest, uh, very well balanced, and they do a very good job. We get the cover off and have a look where the magic happens. And here we have DJI NASA, Futaba 10C's um, receiver, Hornet OSD, and then the two GPS systems. This one being for the Hornet that for the NASA as you can see. Now you'll notice how the arrow isn't pointing straight. That is because of the magnetic deviation we have down in the southern hemisphere here. For it to fly correctly and the compass to be accurate, that's how far we have to turn it off, um, off the zero. So it's running around 35 to 40 degrees at the moment. Um, I've found it in GPS position hold mode to slight um, oscillation still on a windy day when it tries to correct. So I'll probably alter it another degree or two. But that's deviation that's needed. Down here that I've found, even having it straight and then recalibrating doesn't uh, counter the fact that the magnetic deviation is that far out. On the front, the X-Aircraft gimbal. And we're just using GoPro 3 Black in the GoPro frame. Let's lift that up there. And you can see it holds it perfectly. I found you can also use this, the frame that comes with your GoPro 3 for the extra battery pack. It's a little bit deeper, it's about that deep. It will actually hold a GoPro 2 with very little modification. So it's uh, handy if you want to run a backup camera. I'm about to rewire this one so it has three cameras. It'll have the GoPro on the front, um, which I'm using as the FPV camera as well. It'll have one rear facing and one down just so I can be more aware of where I am 
uh, while recording and while flying. You'll see in one of my videos the reason why I want to be more situation aware. Um, cover back on there. And I found that that cover doesn't interfere at all with the GPS for the DJI NASA. Well, that's my X650 setup. Um, go through and have a look and see some more videos.